In this video, we'll show you how you can analyze Amazon sales data using Google spreadsheets. My guest today is uh, Jay June from Gorilla ROI. It's a tool which uh, makes it possible to import Amazon seller central information into the Google spreadsheets. So this video is very useful for spreadsheet nerds and those who like to work with sheets. And uh, before we continue, make sure that you check the links to Gorilla ROI if you want to try and test, find the discount count below in the description. And also, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel of Orange, click, click the notification bell as well, because here we talk with different Amazon um, gurus, <laughs> Amazon uh, experts, uh, software providers, and event organizers. Hello, Jay. It's nice to have you here one more time. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us how Gorilla ROI helps Amazon sellers? Hey, Augustus. Hey, guys. I'm Jay Gorilla ROI. Um, our software is a Google Sheets add-on so that it eliminates the manual work of having to export data from Seller Central and then creating pivot tables or cleaning up your files and then a lot of copying and pasting. It does it all automatically for you so that you can actually spend time analyzing your sales data um, as opposed to working to get that data. And now Jay will show us a demo how you could use Gorilla ROI to analyze and understand your Amazon sales information and data. Okay, so this is the final product of one of our spreadsheets that we use internally to analyze our sales trends and sales data. It gives us a very detailed look into how our products are selling as well as how our account is growing. And of course, this is a test account. So I wish we had like $54 million in sales today. But you can see that with so much detail, we can break it down into different types of time periods where we get data for like today, yesterday, last week, same day last month, et cetera, last 60 days, last quarter. And so this gives us a very good bird's eye view of the direction that we are heading in our company and with our sales. To get this type of data though, you start with the importing of data from Gorilla, using Gorilla ROI from Seller Central. And as you can see right now, I've triggered a refresh so that it's pulling in the information from our test account. And I have all of this data set up into just a very basic template. The way it works is pretty much, it looks more compli cl complicated than it is, but that's because I'm using different formulas rather than just the basic ones. But if I wanted to do something as simple as say, get getting today's date, I could just start off with, Okay, I'm gonna copy this because that's my seller ID location. I could cut start with gorilla underscore sales count, and then I'm gonna enter my seller ID, which I have in a different sheet. And for the period, I can either enter today, or in this case, what I'll do is I'll just reference today up top to make a dynamic comma. And then for this, uh, this is for the US marketplace. So I'm gonna do USA and I'm gonna lock in that reference, comma, and for the SKUs, I just wanna do it for these four SKUs, but if I had say 100 or 1000 SKUs, I could do like A4 to A1000, et cetera. I'm gonna lock that reference in by pressing F4, comma, and then for the status, I just want all products that have sold today. So I'm gonna do all. If I wanted say, um, say products that are, currently pending, then instead of all, I could just type in pending, or there's a lot of different variables and parameters that you can use where you really dig and get into detailed data. So all multi-channel fulfillment. I don't want to include that. So I'm going to do exclude. And I don't need a start and end date because I just want to do today. So I'm gonna close that formula and then I press enter, and then it will load 
and pull in all the sales so far for today based on this data. So imagine trying to do that for all of the, uh, exporting all of this data for like today, yesterday, uh, last week, or like, like every single month. You have to constantly like click on the calendar, set the dates, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then if you're trying to manually update this, it's such a time sink and waste of your energy when you should be focusing on analyzing the data. And so that's what this can do for you. So I'm going to revert back to my original formula because it's just got some more dynamic references. And because it's totally um, spreadsheet based, you can combine formulas with other regular formulas. You can put in averages, if error, uh, V lookups, et cetera. So you can get as complex as you want. In this example, you can see that I've got all these different time periods. And if you, if you also want to get the data, not just for the sales units, but if you want to actually get the dollar amounts, like actual revenue, um, the sales, it's pretty much the same formula, except the difference is before it was sales count, but now it's sales total. So we have different ways of pulling in different, um, very specific data to fit your needs and give you that flexibility to build the type of dashboard or track the KPIs that really matter for your business. So something like say same day last month didn't really matter to your business. You know, you don't have to include this. We do it because it just gives us a very quick understanding of, okay, we did this amount last month. So this today we should be about similar based on say, the same, if it was like a Wednesday, then we know roughly where we are going to be. Um, and that also helps us project and forecast our sales and inventory so that we don't go out of stock. You combine this with by not just the dollar values, but you can combine this with like, also I've got here on the right side, a ranking of my SKUs. So by also monitoring my rankings uh, with the sales, you can track that. And I did another previous video um, on getting the reviews. So you can see how combining sales with reviews can also help um, analyze your marketing effectiveness as well. You can also do the same thing with a European account. So this is another test account for say uh, my Germany account and same thing. Okay, it should be euros, so ignore that. But pretty much the values are gonna be the same rather than having to log into multiple seller accounts and doing the same thing over and over again. The more accounts you have, the more time um, it takes to do it. And so for agencies, or if you have a lot of accounts, or if you're trying to split up your analysis by each individual market, like Spain, UK, Germany, Netherlands, um, et cetera, you can do it all automatically and really understand which market is the best for you and where you should be focusing on or what uh, you should be doubling down on, or you should be re putting some extra energy into some lesser performing markets so that you don't lose as much money. And you can see the same thing with the German account here, all the different time periods across different marketplaces so that you could really granul get granular data across all of your accounts. Thank you very much for this demo. And I wanted to ask about connecting multiple accounts and looking at the sales data. This is good for agencies, but uh, do you recommend to use this feature for Amazon sellers who own several accounts, but they kind of, uh, they use it independently? Oh, definitely. We have majority of our users are single sellers. So somebody who may be selling in the US, Canada, as well as say UK. So they have multiple regions like North America and Europe. And so you can still get all of the data, just like I've shown you, um, and really combine your analysis into one package as opposed to having to either log in multiple times, download multiple times, or use several software to get the same type of da um, data. All right. Thank you very much, Jay. And those who are watching, please check the links below. You can test and try Gorilla ROI. And thank you, Jay, and good luck in your business. Bye-bye.
I do hope this video was useful and uh, you learned something new. And if you love Google spreadsheets, make sure that you check the Gorilla ROI. Find the links below in the description. Also the coupon code if you want to sign up with them. And uh, now I suggest you watch uh, this playlist where we have uh, collected a few more videos about Gorilla ROI. You will find a demo and a few other tips where you can learn how to use this software. Are you still here? Watch.